All right, Sandra, love. All right, Ernest. What are you doing round here? It shows the Gary who comes round. Oh, he's laid up in the house. Why's that? What's wrong with him? He hurt himself plastering your wall. Ow! When you were both playing silly buggers. <laughs> well, he started it. That's not what he said. I only kegged him. He said he was stood on top of the ladders and you pulled his trousers down around his ankles. Yeah, <laughs> I kegged him. I never meant for him to fall, though. He said when he came to, he had a great massive penis drawn on his forehead. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll apologise for that. Well, now he's laid up in bed with sciatica and a rash on his forehead where the permanent marker wouldn't come off. <laughs> oh, I, I'm really sorry about that, Sandra. Here, come on in out cold. Don't want to be hanging around outside. She's dying to know what goes off her ear her next door. Come on, come on in. Right. What can I do for you? Well, I was just hoping for a box of fags. It's 60 quid, you know. Yeah, all right. Right, I'll be back. They're upstairs. Here's a sec. Okay. Could you make them menthol in? I've got a cold. Yeah, all right. Here you go, love. Tar in. Is there anything else I can sort out for you? I don't think so. Yeah, I've got some wonderful trainers for your Gary. The right suit him, because he's a trendy guy. Ah, oh, that's nice, Ernest. He'll like that. He finds it really difficult to find shoes. Why? He ain't got athlete's foot as well, has he? <laughs> no. He has one foot that's bigger than the other, his left is a size 8, and the right is a size 9. It's a total nightmare. Really? Well, they are designers, so they'll be really comfortable for his wonky feet. They're made by Ed Hardy. Who's he when he's at home? Some bell end who lives in Hollywood. But he's sort after stuff, you know, this Sandra. Ew, lovely. Put me down for one of each. So what are we saying then? A pair of eight and a pair of nine? No, no, I don't think so. One eight and one nine. The left shoe eight and the right shoe nine. Bloody hell, Sandra, you can't do that to me. What do you mean? Well, who the fuck's going to buy the other odd pair? Oh, yeah, never thought of that. Come on, Sandra, think. No, I don't know then. I'm not sure if I can afford two pair. Hey, here's what I'll do. Seeing as this is a unique situation, I'll do the two pairs for a discount, yeah? Ah, oh, really? That's nice. How much are we saying? Let's call it, uh 20 quid. Oh, OK. That's fair enough. Cheers, in. You're welcome. Guess who I bumped into the other day? Go on. Anne Bagshaw. Oh, yeah? She says you spent the day with her the other day. Hmm. Before you say anything, it was nothing like that. Oh, yeah, right. I helped to buy some patio furniture, that's all. And nothing else, eh? No! You know her reputation, in. I do, and you think I'm going to go down that road again? I took one photograph with her and I last went berserk. And rightfully so. <laughs> it was only a kiss. On her tits, Ernest. Yeah, and I ain't heard Ender it since. So why was you with her then? I just helped the woman out. She bought some patio furniture and she needed hand carrying it to her car. She is disabled, you know. Fucking disabled. There's nothing wrong with her. No limp or nothing. She hasn't worked a day in her life, that one, the silly slag. Not all disabilities are physical, you know, Sandra. Yeah, the only thing she suffers from is sticky mattress syndrome. She can't be bothered to scrape her lazy ass out of bed. She's not like that. Yes, she is. Not one penny goes on them kiddies. Hey, let's not get into it, Sandra, shall we? I've got enough on my plate today. I have Jimmy and Matt coming round and they're always a pain at fucking arse. All right? Just let me get your trainers, yeah? All right, love. Right, here you go, Sandra. Cheers, love. 20 quid, is it? Just call it a tenner. Are you sure? Yeah, it's all right. Cheers, love. Let me show you to the door. Right. OK, then, Ian. See you later, then. See ya. Sandra! Yeah? Don't tell anyone about Anne, will ya? I won't. Don't worry about it. See ya. Cheers. God's sake, that's all I need.